Egypt. You're right, Lucy. There is another woman. And no, it's not what you think. Trust me. Do you have enough faith in me to do that, despite what you think you know? To marry me now? Do you trust me enough to believe that I love you and I always will? I'm asking, yes or no, will you marry me? I saw you go into that room with that woman. Room 1215. She was a very, very pretty woman, you know. I, I, I saw you with her. I'm asking you to trust me in spite of what you think you saw. You're asking me an awful lot, you know that, Doc? An awful lot. Well, if I believe that, I wouldn't be standing here. And I wouldn't be asking you. And I wouldn't be feeling that all the magic that's happened here tonight wasn't somehow meant to end in you and me finally seizing the day. Don't think, Lucy. Feel it. What does the universe tell you? What are your heart and your soul telling you? We sure didn't plan this this way. I mean, neither one of us thought it would be like this, right? No. It just happened. Just like some big accident or something, right? Right. Except there are no accidents. No, only what is meant to be. And that's what this is, Lucy. This is the one in a million shot that you wish and you hope and you pray for, and if you blink, it disappears. Let's not blink this time. So what you're asking is you're asking me to trust you completely and absolutely trust. What you were doing with that woman, but I do know you. You're my doc. And I know you love me. And oh, Doc, I love you so much. And I also know we weren't really ready before, not until now. And your answer is? Sure. Yeah. I mean, why not? You know, I will. I do. I think I'm gonna. Let's get married right now, right here. Do you think that Lucy has any idea that this is gonna be more than just a wedding? Not a clue, but she's about to find out. Or something. Hey, would you would you get Serena? Maybe you could help yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go okay. find her right now. I think yeah, you're going to need yeah. something old. Uh, maybe I could walk you down the aisle. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's my dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you still need something new, something borrowed, something blue. Oh, you're right. Uh, forget all that. I don't have anybody to perform the sermon. Not so fast. Reverend Giovanni, raise your hand. There he is. Oh. 
Yeah, for an unplanned wedding, we seem to have pretty much everything we need. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Stop, stop. Save it for the wedding. Hey, mind your own. Come on, come on. Go on right now. Come on. No, come on. Okay. Okay. That way. I'll meet you there. Yeah, it's true. I get to be your best man. <laughs> hey, man. I'm so happy for you, Kevin. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Kevin? Hey. hey. So you're going through with it, huh? Looks that way. Well, I wish you all the best. I wish the same thing for you. <sighs> Friends forever, right? Friends forever. Hello? Hello, come on, say something, would you please? Good thing you wore a white dress. Well, I sort of didn't start out that way. It just, the white dress showed up. How lucky was that? Lucy, what's this box? What's what box? This big white box. I don't know. Oh, my god. What? what? Oh, my god. <gasps> Lucy, oh, it's oh. a train. Oh, my goodness. And I think it. Yes, it totally goes on the back of your dress. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. <gasps> Look at this. It's a veil. <laughs> it's a veil. Yeah. Look at this. These are both oh. exquisite. I can't believe it. Where would they come from? The universe. The universe. Oh, who cares? You know what this means? If I had any doubts before, I certainly don't now. <laughs> well, that takes care of something new. I still need something barred and something blue. Oh, dear, I do. You know, I'm going to... Yeah. Need all the good luck charms I can get. What am I gonna do? Uh, Serena. Yeah. Come with me. I think I, I do. I have an idea. <gasps> okay. We'll be okay. Oh. You're my angels. Okay. <laughs> See ya. <sighs> wow. Hi. Surprised? Yeah, I'm. I'm surprised. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I guess you're thinking I'm sort of a little crazy here. Just up and saying yes like that after... I think you're... you're an incredible woman. You do? And you trust in the one you love, and that makes Kevin a very lucky guy. Thanks. You know, uh, Kevin and I, we found our way back to each other, so I, I know you and Eve can do the same thing. Yeah. I hope so. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't find anything blue. Okay, um... um what about a flower or something? Lift up your dress. Um, excuse me? Trust. Um, uh, <laughs> oh. Okay, now. Seat, my lady. <laughs> Serena. Oh, what does it do? It's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Excuse me, Grandpa. Well, I didn't have that on when I left my house. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta improvise. Right. Look what I found. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's another miracle. Now all we need is something, something borrowed. Oh, I just remembered that my dad gave these to me for my birthday, and I just think they would look really beautiful with your dress. Oh, Libby, thank you so much. Well, it looks like I have absolutely everything. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> oh. Frank. Okay. Oh, great. All right. That's perfect. It's great. Is there another one? Yeah. You know what? There's one more in the lobby. Okay. I'll be right back. Thanks. Hey, what you doing? I'm looking for the bracelet that you gave me for Christmas. I lost it. I lost it just like I lose everything. Come here. Whatever we lost, we'll get it back. I promise you. We'll get it back. So you're uh, 
pretty proud of yourself now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I am. And that's what it's all about, right? People coming together, being with the ones they love, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's not done yet. And like you said, the best thing is yet to come. Okay, ladies, this is it, right? Okay, I think okay. we're ready. Now, would everyone please take their seats? Go. Yeah. I'll see you out there. Okay. Love you, sweet pea. Shall we? Oh, yes, we shall. I think someone here at your hotel is trying to reach me on my cell phone, but they keep getting disconnected. So if you could just uh, maybe let me take a peek at the phone records. I'm sorry, sir. We can't let you do that. <laughs> no, I understand, you see, but I'm a doctor, and it's probably a, uh, a patient of mine who needs my help. Yeah. No. The okay, answer listen, is no. Um, you know, maybe you could stop being such a tight-ass drone and cooperate. Sir, no. Okay. okay. How about this? If you don't show me the records, I'm going to... Uh, just start tearing this place apart, starting with you. I said. Thank you. There it is. That's my number. Someone in room 1215 has been calling me. I knew it. 1215. 1215. Why is that number so familiar? I don't know, sir. That was a rhetorical question, Mr. Helper. Please be seated. Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here in the presence of God and of this company that Lucy and Kevin may be united in holy matrimony. We're here to celebrate and to share in the glorious act that God is about to perform, the act by which he converts their love for one another into the holy and sacred estate of marriage. I'd like the couple to begin by exchanging their personal vows. Lucy. Uh, excuse me, uh, Reverend. You see, this really wasn't planned, so we don't really have any pre-planned vows. I suggest vows, you but wing it. Wing it. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Doc, uh, I, I just mentioned to the Reverend that we don't have any pre-planned vows, and yeah. you know what he said? 
wing it. So that's what I guess I'm gonna do. Boy, huh. I guess there's something to be said for that old adage. Try, 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 and keep on trying again. <laughs> okay, here goes. I have waited to be standing up here next to you like this for what seems like forever. I I've dreamed about this day, and I know you have too. And now that it's finally here, and we're really gonna do this, I look at your face. And everything that has come between us before, everything, it just seems like it's completely disappeared. And all that's left is the one truth that we've always had between us forever. Our love for each other. Oh, Doc, that, that love, I guess, when you think about it, is all that really matters, isn't it? And our love is so real and so strong. I know that it can get us through anything. So standing here right now looking at you, I want to say thank you. Thank you for reminding me of that. And thank you for making me believe in our love again. I love you. Kevin? Uh, uh, no, wait, I'm, just, I'm not quite finished. Oh, I beg your pardon, go ahead. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I just want to say that I know when we look at each other, it seems like we've known each other forever and ever, but today, tonight, we start down a whole new road because our future is limitless together, just like the universe. And I just can't wait to see where that road takes us. Together, forever. <laughs> wow. Not bad for winging it. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> Look, <see. laughs> You really think I don't have something to say? You better. <laughs> you better. Lucy, you taught me that life should be nothing less than a grand adventure. <laughs> but that there are always mountains to climb and mysteries to solve and new worlds to explore. And I cannot tell you how glad I am for that because you also taught me that opening my heart and listening to my soul it's the key to being alive. And life with you is the grandest adventure of all. And I'm glad. Because for the first time, I can actually look forward to growing old. <laughs> because I know in my heart that you'll even make that fun. I love you, Lucy. I love you. And I'm going to spend the rest of my days making you happier than you ever dreamed possible. Starting with tonight. <laughs> Are you ready for that? Oh, boy. I am so ready. Let me just do this first. Oh. All right. Yeah. Into the holiest state of marriage, these two persons are about to be joined. If anyone can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let them now speak or else forever hold their peace. I mean, have the rings. Uh, uh. What? Wait, uh. What is it? What's wrong? This is it. Well, there's something missing. Trust me, Lucy. Trust me. I, I, I want to trust you, but if you don't tell me what the heck is going on right now, it's I'm just that not everyone is here. I don't need anybody else. You sure? We don't have a flower girl.
next Port Charles. Miracles happen. On the next Port Charles. You'll be leaving soon. <clears throat> yeah, midnight. Yeah. Julie's back in Port Charles. She came here to give Christina to you. Christina's yours again. Relive the story of poor Charles' tainted love. Tuesday through Thursday at 7 p.m. for Pacific, right here on SoapNet. The only TV and online network devoted to soaps and you. Up next, it's All My Children, followed by One Life to Live and General Hospital, right here on SoapNet.